Hey guys, it's your boy uh, Plexity coming at you with another um, uh, interview with. Um... Shit, it's K Dot Femi, nine seven eight book Crip, Shaded Records label executive artist. Feel me, biz owner, multiple biz owner, jack of all trades for real, bro. Man, how how's it going for real, man? Like, um, it's it's honestly a pleasure to meeting you. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you as well. Yeah, so like just with that introduction itself, I mean that's that's a lot of a lot of titles. Like, how how does uh one like reach reach that status? Cause like um, I mean from like music, I mean from your music, then you know social media. I mean your name bring a big buzz, and then like your your face is no stranger to especially like the uh, the entertainment industry because um like uh, me personally myself, like I've seen you. And a lot of like public events, and then you know, with the fanciest cars, and you know, what I'm saying you close. Like, how does how how did you reach the status? I mean, shit, it was nothing but hard work. Um, I say it really started off when I got signed. You know, I originally got signed as an artist like a while back. My man Shady put me on and shit. I did this little uh, did this little showcase that Drama was holding a while ago. A lot of people usually go there, they attend, looking to get signed. So yeah, I got signed off that. And then, um, you know, usually once niggas get their advancement money or whatever from being signed, they go blow the bag or something like that. Yeah. Well, I wanted to do some shit different. And instead of using the money to go buy a bunch of fancy shit, I saved up and tried to figure out a way to have my money make money. So what I mean by that is I started investing into myself, my, my, um, my knowledge. I knew a lot of shit, you feel me, going into the business game. So... I just started trying to figure out a way to open different businesses and that shit. That really all started off with, uh, I want to say Heat Sneakers was the very first thing I got into. Heat Sneakers and I'd probably say Bahama Mamas, I believe. Okay. So, I mean, to be honest, like, um, artists like that is pretty rare. Like, a lot of artists don't really know, like, um, essentially you got to be able to pay that money back and then you invest in it back into yourself, like... I assume like it was easy to like uh, pay pay that off. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I I paid that shit off then there instantly. I mean, with as much as I do feel like the label and shit now, it's like stuff like that don't even matter no more. I mean, at first it was pretty much mad because my um I don't know the music shit cool and all, but it's it kind of just used to be a way to get everything out because I'm I'm not the best with like ex- expressing myself amongst yeah. other people, but. Yeah, I was only using it for that, and eventually I got tired of it. And then once I did get signed, I realized that I probably wasn't even going to really be in the game for that much longer. I'm like, fuck it, I got to figure out something to, like, you feel me, keep the money coming in. Okay, and, like, and you don't got to tell us, but, like, what what was, at least give us, like, a, a estimate on how much did you sign for? I'm not going to say the exact number, but it was seven figures. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, so... Or to give you a better to give you a better idea, my advancement was three hundred bands. Oh shit! Yeah, no. So, so with now, like, um, like you have stated, like, um, like you know, like you really uh, wasn't like primarily wanted to do music. So now, like, it's strictly business. Uh, is there anything else like you into it with, or is it just strictly like just managing different various of businesses? Like, not no like. I guess you could consider events as well. Could be considered a business, but anything else? Um, I mean, shit. Other than that, I'm really trying to get more into the car scene. Like you said earlier, for me, like I got a lot of flashy cars and shit now. Yeah. And like coming from nothing, I really I didn't have time to like really look into cars. I never really had like a fancy car. My first car was like a fucking I don't even remember how to say this shit. It's like a Komodo or a Komodo or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, starting from that and then finally getting shit like a track hog and a S five hundred Benz, a, a BMW M four. Like I just, I kind of fell in love with cars. I love JDMs as well. Just got haven't had a chance to get my hands onto it yet. So, and then um, you had uh, spoke about um, like uh, like the different like organizations you with. Um, you want to touch church base on that? Like um, how did um, the other organizations besides the shady uh, shady records one came about? Oh, yeah, we could do that. All right, so, um, boom, right? So, for heat sneakers, I'd say when I was about maybe 15 in high school, I was probably, like, maybe a freshman or a sophomore or some shit, I started selling shoes, you feel me? I was, I was like, broke as shit. I'm keeping it being with you. I was broke. 
They can't have no money selling drugs. It's it's quick money, but it's hella inconsistent. So I was just like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I had a lot of shoes back then. You feel me? My mom used to spoil me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So um, I just like trying to. I tried to get into the business. Tried to learn about like different bots and shit like that that you could use on websites. Got into that. Started wearing. Uh, started flipping my shoes, and then after that, it's just like I had kind of had a vision with it. But I'm not really like one of those people who like to work hella hard so i didn't really want to find a job where i was selling shoes or like a consignment store or something i was just like fuck it let me uh or matter of fact after i got signed and then i had the money to do it that's when i was that's when the shit clicked in my head i'm like yeah it's definitely gonna be one of the one of my sources of income but that's um that's really just heat sneakers you want me to if you want me to get into the other ones i can yeah yeah please i'm very All intrigued right, so let me see for bahama mamas um Bahama Mamas pretty much came like Shady. Um, me and Shady had a lot of talks, and he kind of just realized, I guess, like how much of a businessman I am. I got my head on straight. I know how to run shit. I can manage shit. He don't got to be there. I don't need nobody. I don't need no supervision or nothing to do shit. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a grown ass man at the end of the day. I can make my own choices and decisions and shit and be, and be cool and confident with it. So he pretty much like gave me ownership to the shop as well as my, my homegirl, Jay. So shit, me and her, we just be running the business up. But. The shit cool. I love the um, I love the club scene, bro. That shit is hella fun. I try not to really like have it open too too much, cause I know it's like a lot of different business going on and shit. I just try to keep it open when it's when it's convenient. When I got a lot of motherfuckers in my ear telling me I need to open up, then that's you feel me. That's when it's time. And then um, after that, when I say which one is oh yeah yeah Divine Hair Salon. So me and my um me and my homegirl, I call her my twin. I ain't Cameron, Cameron Prescott, you feel me? Yeah. She uh she real cool peoples too. I've been fucking with her for a long time. Then my partner, you feel me, way, 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 way back. I met her a long time ago. So we were just like she always used to say how she wanted to um she wanted to get like her own salon too. And I was like, That's not a bad idea at all. Shit, if anything, we could look into it. And so we really I mean it really it's, it's really simple to be honest. We just started doing like different research on what we should do how we should go about things and then we found a couple of people we trust and could make management and shit we made shit happen that's that's honestly dope though to be honest um so from what i'm hearing like you have a like a like a larger group of people like um that's also like um assist you as well too like and work with you like so do you in your businesses work with other businesses as well too around los santos or is it just oh like... yeah i'm glad you asked that so yeah. i'm actually partnered right now with vanilla unicorn um i forgot to say i forgot to mention this too but i i just bought a a content house i just closed on that it's big ass mansion bro shit is probably my biggest purchase like as of right now um i'm doing that with another another owner of vanilla unicorn named Zaya. So we looking to get into that. Probably do some like some different like little shows we could probably get um aired on T V or something like that. Just try to just try to keep myself, you know, um try to keep myself busy for real, bro. I don't yeah. wanna be just I don't wanna get too comfortable because then that's how niggas go broke. You feel me? You get comfortable and then you be shot out of luck. End up like Delante West or something. Can't go. I like the way how you say that. I'm actually going to have to write that down somewhere. I appreciate that, dropping that on oh, us. Oh, shit. So, all right. So, you, I mean, it's clear as day that you um, work with other businesses. Do you, like, also, like, even work with the community as well, too? Like, um, you said you was trying to get into the car scene. Um, so, have you, like, hosted any, like, um, events as of recently? Oh, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. We be doing, like, car meets and shit. I got this, like, um somebody created this big ass like group chat and then they added me and all my peoples to it so we be doing a whole bunch of shit with just random niggas niggas i don't even know i don't know if i'm a can of paint but yeah like it's it's pretty much just all love everybody friends in there we all cool everybody you feel me put money up pink slips all type of shit and we just we hit the highway do highway takeovers car meets we line shit up all that that's dope. So with with the car meets, um, uh, like, is it just you like uh being there, enjoying the atmosphere, or are you being there to also like race, or like what 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 do you go to at, do? At first, I was um, 
I was just like there just to just to chill for me, just kick it with the homies and shit yeah. until I got my track. When I got my track hawk, that's song like, oh yeah, I'm finna line shit up. Oh yeah. So I, I've been racing a lot. The only cars that's that's really like putting up smoke with me right now is a McLaren P one and a Lamborghini Urus. There's a car oh. that I'm looking for. Like I'm trying to race it bad. It's the um it's the Durango Hellcat. I'm looking for that motherfucker, bro. So if you watch this interview, bro, we can line that shit up. I'm putting fifty on it. Well, you heard it, yeah, 50, 50, big fifty on it. All right then. So, um, so let's um let's uh, track back to some of the music. So, as of recently, um, you had dropped a song, uh, poetic, uh, justice, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, how how did that song came about? Um, I don't know. My my love life is like hella crazy. I didn't been in like a bunch of different relationships where shit was just like I don't know it hit the fan and then I like I'm like really an overthinker and shit so I don't know when shit hit the fan bro I just be I I be like really emotional about it like in in my head so yeah like I said the music was hella therapeutic to me back then so I just started making music about it. I'm like I can't I don't got nobody else to tell it to or have conversations with and shit so why not just put it on like a track oh that's dope no that's really dope that you um had um put feeling into the into that song because um i like i was listening to the lyrics and i'm like all right no i need to get a little bit more information on like uh, what was the meaning because you know some people oh, yeah. like make songs just about like um false situations or not a real person I just oh yeah to make for sure, sure. Yeah. i mean up to not to cut you off but like a lot of niggas be bullshitting bro and like a lot of people say that a lot of niggas cap and they rap but yeah. there's different types of music too. Some people, some people not necessarily lying when they make music, but they making music for other people in other situations. So it's like, if I say I didn't been through a bunch of different traumatic situations or relationships, and I didn't been traumatized this way, this way, and this way, I might that might not actually happen to me, but I know it's happened to somebody else in the world. So I'm just trying to get it to them. Yeah, you like um seeing a person going through it and like, all right, I want to be able to tell this person i tell this person's story in this song yeah no nah. exactly i like I mean, that it's um essentially like storytelling like uh like writing books not all books about a, a story that a person like lives about a different exactly story. that's 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 a good way to put yeah. it but i would say that one thing niggas always asked me about that song was like the very very first lines I said she called yeah. me one she called me a munch because the way that i eat it a lot of yeah. niggas is like i'm a freak freak <laughs> Freaky young nigga, freaky frog ass nigga, all type of shit, bro. But I mean, that, that shit real. I'm not. Re- I wouldn't really call myself a much, bro. But I am a freak, so it's like I'm gonna do whatever yeah. to please my woman. No, that's some real shit. So, um, today, like, um, I was wondering if you um be able to like um showcase like a freestyle for us. Oh yeah, yeah, we can we can make something happen. Oh yeah, no, that would be dope. You think uh we could do it now? Matter of fact, yeah, we can go ahead and get straight to it. All right, let's get it. I wanna say my for life, but this shit ain't for real. It get hella therapeutic, I tell how I feel. And all this shit straight off the dome, I ain't writing for real. These niggas mad and suck shit, got me signing the deal. And I'm off that. Suck out my bitch, opened up her legs. Swear to God, I broke her spine. All these niggas talking tough, but it ain't never about a dime. How the fuck you and my brother, but you still trying to be mine? Like, damn, this shit got me thinking. Off a perk, I'm trying to slide. This shit got me tweaking. And yeah, I've been up in that field, and I ain't never leaving. Say he won't say that he can have it, I don't need a reason. My cousin died at my arms, he got hit up with them shells. Heard they gave us only chili just to have that nigga tell. Watching you claim that everybody wish you well. That's why I don't got no friends, all these pussy niggas frail. Young fly nigga, all I'm worried about is fun. Niggas can't hop in the V if you ain't carrying no gun. Make this shit look easy, really do this shit for fun. I don't wanna be your friend, cause all you stupid niggas dumb. I can't hang with you if you ain't trying to up your network. Niggas still in bars just to try to make they best verse. Got some hot shit that'll make a nigga chest hurt. And all you niggas suck. This shit better than your best verse, nigga. No, that was that was hard. No, that no, that was hard, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. 